How's it going everyone? This is your man Ron Retro Gaming and today I'll be showing you guys how to install Retro Pi onto your Raspberry Pi and I'll also show you how to install ROMs on your Raspberry Pi and you will need a few things to do this first of all you will need a Raspberry Pi of course and you will need a USB controller you'll need a SD card for the Raspberry Pi you'll need a computer or laptop and you'll need to download a few things you'll need to download etcher right here you'll need to download the retro pi now if you have a raspberry pi 0 or 1 you're going to want to download this click on here and if you have the raspberry pi 2 or 3 you're going to want to download this right here and you'll also need a sd uh, formatter right here and you can download it for windows or for Mac and I'll leave a link to all these in the description okay first things first you want to insert your SD card into the computer okay and then what you're gonna want to do is open up SD card formatter yes Okay, and it's automatically going to select your SD card, but you're going to want to make sure it's the right one. So, mine is the right one. And you just hit format right here. And that's going to take 30 seconds to format the SD card. As soon as that's done, just close and open up Etcher. And you're going to want to select image. And you want to select your RetroPie image right here hit open and your SD card you make sure it's the right one continue and hit flash and that's gonna take about three to four minutes to flash and as soon as that's done you're gonna want to close and you're gonna want to disconnect your SD card so just go right here eject SD card okay take that out Plug it into your Raspberry Pi and turn on your Raspberry Pi and you should have Retro Pi on there and as soon as you uh, turn it on this should come up and it's going to ask you to configure your, uh, your controller so just hold any button and up down left right start select a, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder. And then I'm just gonna hold, because I don't need to configure these other buttons. You just hold the button that you have already configured and it's just gonna skip through it. Real simple guys, this is not hard at all. Real easy. Hot key, and hit okay. Okay, when you download RetroPie, you're not going to have this theme right here. This is a custom theme that I downloaded on RetroPie. But, uh, and you're not going to have these either. You're just going to have RetroPie over here. But uh, you're going to want to go over here to RetroPie. And go down to Show IP. And you're going to need your IP address so you can transfer your ROMs to the Raspberry Pi. My IP address is 192.168.1.71. Okay. And you're going to want to go back to your computer. And you're going to want to make sure. And you have to have your Raspberry Pi and your computer on the same networks. See, I got them right here on my uh, AT&T uh, uh, router. I got my uh, computer and my Raspberry Pi connected to the same network. You have to do this or else you won't be able to transfer the ROMs. Just open a file explorer over here and you're gonna wanna go right here. Hit backslash backslash and type in your IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.71 hit enter and that's gonna pull up the folders on your Raspberry Pi 
and there goes your ROMs and that's all the systems that's on your Raspberry Pi now whenever you download your ROMs you're gonna have to go on Google search for your ROMs download them and then you're gonna want to transfer them over here to these folders now if you have Game Boy Color ROMs you just drop them off in this Game Boy Color folder see I got my Game Boy Color ROMs over here and if you have uh, NES ROMs you just drop them off in the NES folder okay real simple same thing with the SNES same thing with the N64 it's not that hard guys it's really 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 simple okay as soon as that's done you just hit close and go back to your Raspberry Pi hit start go down to quit and restart emulation station yes and as soon as you restart you should be able to see your ROMs now I got all my ROMs over here I got Final Burn Alpha NES Game Boy Super NES and we're gonna try a game real quick and we'll play Final Fight okay now I'm gonna be playing with just one hand so if I play bad don't make fun of me <laughs> Okay, as you guys can see, it's working. And we're gonna play. Let's see how it plays. I love Final Fight. This is one of my favorite retro games of all time. As you guys can see, my uh, rounds are working. Okay, let's try another game. Uh, let's see, what do we want to try? Uh, let's try... Donkey Kong 3. Who doesn't love Donkey Kong? I love Donkey Kong. Okay. Yep, spray him down. Oh, we died. But as you guys can see my ROMs are working that's gonna be it for this video guys I appreciate you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe this is your man Ron Gaming HD and I hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you